I didn't grow up speaking Spanish well and I had to learn it. I'm like, this is an opportunity now where Spanish is being valued, where they can learn it in school where it's considered a really cool thing. So I have two daughters, uh, Luz. My name is Luz Noriega and I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian. She's eight, she's in second grade. And then uh, Paloma is in kindergarten. She's five and she's hilarious. My name is Paloma and I'm five. Five? They are at Mark Twain Dual Language Academy this year, which is, um, it's the first all dual language uh, public school in SAISD. Many generations ago when the children were in school, they were discouraged from speaking Spanish and even, you know, advancing their own Spanish proficiency because the thinking back then was that the kids were going to get confused and that that was going to delay the process of learning English. And other people have told me about their, their uh, parents being hit in the knuckles for speaking Spanish. So yeah, punishment was widespread and common and it's very much a part of our memory, our grandparents, our parents, my dad. So. Uh, what a gift to, um, for my kids just from the beginning to not only be proud of their culture, um, proud of their story, be able to talk about it, but also be able to speak Spanish from an early age and it be valued and think like this is so cool, you know, this is a great thing. Ah, muy bien, excelente. Well, the Dual Language Academy, it's still kind of a very blended type of community. We have students who come from different uh, socioeconomic backgrounds and um, different experiences. And so it's all kind of blending together nicely in the classroom. I want people to understand that it's not just for um, if you're Latino because, oh, it's Spanish and you have this emotional connection. It's for everybody because who you will perform, you know, high quality dual language models are some of the best models you could have in any type of education. My best friend at the school is a, is a mom who's African American who barely speaks Spanish, but she understands the value and the cognitive benefits and she's doing it maybe not because she's got this emotional connection but she's like this is the best for my child so how do we continue to attract students to attend our schools and so the district has been very innovative one of the ways is it's established a dual language school that is exclusively dual language and now we're seeing the neighborhoods respond they're interested they want a quality education they want a quality program and now they're trickling in <laughs>